Today I will be giving a cooking tutorial for an authentic Mexican style menudo recipe with honeycomb beef tripe and hominy corn. For this recipe, the supplies you will need are kitchen scissors or a sharp knife, a blender, a mesh strainer, can opener, big pot, 5 hours of time, love and patience. The ingredients you will need are baking soda, honeycomb beef tripe, hominy corn, pig feet trotter or any, guajillo chilies, 4 bay leaves, 2 yellow onions, 1 white onion or red onion, chicken bouillon, sugar, chili powder, black pepper, salt, cilantro, lemons or limes, jalapenos fresh, Mexican oregano, and six cloves of garlic. All of the ingredients will be listed in the description below. So I have some honeycomb beef tripe and some pig feet trotter that I have already cut up into squares and already unthawed and placed in water. I'm going to be adding baking soda and salt into each container and mixing it around and letting it soak for 30 minutes and this is the traditional way to clean menudo. To cut my honeycomb beef tripe up I use my kitchen scissors which were much easier than using a knife so I would advise you guys to try that method. So again, I am going to allow this to sit for 30 minutes before I move on to the next step of cooking. So now it's been 30 minutes and everything is set up for the next cooking step. The pig feet and the honeycomb beef tripe has been rinsed thoroughly several times to get the bacon soda out and salt out. So now I will begin my cooking process by adding the pig feet to the bottom of the smaller pot and then adding my pig feet to the bottom of the larger pot. Now I will begin to add my honeycomb beef tripe to the smaller pot. And just filling it up then I will add some of my honeycomb beef tripe to the larger pot and I am cooking everything into two separate pots so that I don't have my food overflowing I did want to make a lot of menudo because I really love this dish so I'm adding one whole yellow onion, four to five bay leaves, and about 10 garlic pieces. And again, one yellow onion, three bay leaves, and about, I wanna say 10 to 12 garlics. And then I wanna say about two tablespoons of Mexican oregano. So I'm going to fill my pot up halfway full of water for the larger pot and also for the smaller pot. And I am going to put this on about seven to start a boil. So now that it's started to boil, and I do mean a healthy boil like this one right here, you want to go ahead and turn your stove down to simmer. A good simmer to me would be three and let that cook for three hours. So up next we are going to be doing the guajillo peppers. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry, but I did my best. So you want to cut the ends off, dump the majority of the seeds. That's 95% of the seeds need to be dumped out because they will make it spicy if you do not. Cut them down the middle, put them in water, and boil them for exactly six minutes. 
After they are boiled, we will move on to the next step. And I can't wait for you guys to see this. So next up, you're gonna need six cloves of garlic, one to two bay leaves, and one tablespoon of dried Mexican oregano. You're gonna use half the pot of the water that you boiled, only half the pot to pour into the blender to make this wonderful delicious sauce and it's really hot so be very careful when pouring not to spill on yourself then you want to take a spoon or whatever would be the best utensil for you and put the chilies directly into the blender So now you're gonna go ahead and throw your garlic cloves, and your bay leaves, and your Mexican oregano in with the sauce. And you're gonna put the top on very securely. And then, voila, it's blendering time. And this was really fun to make. It just felt so much more healthier to make a sauce that's actually homemade and fresh in front of your face you guys should really give this recipe a try so this is how everything looks it looks delicious so you want to take the whole onion out of both pots the yellow onion that we put in the beginning remove it from both pots so that you can add the seasoning salt black pepper chicken bouillon chili powder and then sugar so now I'm just gonna add the salt then the black pepper then the chili powder And the I'm not sure what that is and then the chicken bouillon cubes and some sugar now off camera I did open my hominy corn I put about three cans in each pot and I strained the juice out first So now I'm just stirring it up some more so that I can get ready to add my red guajillo chili sauce to my mesh strainer. And this is why we need the mesh strainer so we can get all the sauce in and not too much thick particles of chilies in the soup. And you just want to take your hand and just whoosh it around, obviously clean and washed and just get a good amount into the soup, the menudo. And this sauce really gives it that signature taste of an authentic style Mexican menudo. This is the secret ingredient to making sure that it tastes authentic and original. And I had so much fun just getting that out of there. It was really fun, it just seemed like therapeutic in some type of a way so now that you have all of your ingredients in there you just want to give it a good stir make sure everything is mixed properly and we're just gonna allow this to cook for one more hour. So that is a complete cook time of four hours by the time it's done. And I'm adding a little bit more of the guajillo chili mixture into this also. 
So one hour left, then we're finished. So next up, I'm going to be taking some fresh lemons and I'm going to cut that up into slices to go with the menudo. And this is before it's done. So this is while it's doing its last hour of cooking. You should be preparing everything that goes with it. So after that, I'm going to be cutting up some fresh cilantro that has been rinsed off, off camera by the way. And I'm just cutting that up into little small pieces to sprinkle into the menudo soup with the rest of the ingredients. So next I am going to be taking a white onion and cutting that up into little pieces and this has also been rinsed off camera and you also have the option to do a yellow onion or a red onion. I just prefer to do a white onion and I'm just going to dice that into small pieces so this can also be sprinkled into the menudo soup. I will also be cutting the jalapenos into small pieces off camera and it is a fresh jalapeno not cooked in any type of way so you want to cut it up really really small like smaller than the onions for your menudo soup and that is an optional if you don't like spicy food you don't have to cut up jalapenos at all so this is how the lemons, white onion, cilantro, and fresh jalapenos look all chopped up and ready to be served. The menudo is fresh out the pot and I put a little bay leaf in there. So you just want to squeeze that lemon juice in there like such. And go ahead and sprinkle some of those white onions or red onions or yellow onions depending on what your taste buds are some cilantro and just a little bit of fresh jalapenos for that spice delicious thank you guys so much for watching i really enjoyed creating this authentic mexican style menudo dish with you guys and don't forget to subscribe for food vibes cooking with taji